Hi, I'm Congressman Andy Harris, and this is the Red Tape Tower. 20,000 pages high and seven feet tall, it encompasses all of the regulations already associated with President Obama's health care law. The red tape, the taxes, the mandates, the tricks, the traps, the fine print, it's all here. Now, just think about the fact that it's the IRS that will be responsible for enforcing many of these regulations. If we've learned anything this week, it's that the IRS needs less power, not more. As a matter of fact, it turns out that the IRS official who oversaw the operation that's under scrutiny for targeting conservatives is now in charge of the IRS's Obamacare office. You can't make this stuff up. As a physician for nearly 30 years, I've always believed the power in our health care system should belong to patients and their families, not politicians, and certainly not the tax man. Americans should be able to choose the coverage they need at a cost they can afford. The president's health care law turns this equation, and in many ways our lives, upside down. It requires Americans to buy government-approved plans that cover all kinds of services you may not need. So instead of keeping your coverage, like President Obama promised, millions are going to be forced off the plan they like. Instead of the lower costs you were promised, you could pay a whole lot more. According to new data from the nation's insurers, under Obamacare, premiums in the individual market will skyrocket by an average of double what we pay now, with some rates rising by more than 400 percent. And because employers can't afford Obamacare and all its costs and new taxes, they're not hiring new workers, and many are actually cutting back hours for their workers. Making it harder for small businesses to hire is the last thing we need during one of the slowest economic recoveries in American history. It's no wonder that one of the law's leading authors in the Senate said, and I quote, I just see a huge train wreck coming. Well, here's the problem. The train wreck is already here. Obamacare is knocking Americans off the ladder of opportunity, and the sooner we repeal it, the sooner we can start fixing health care for working families. This week, the House of Representatives voted to do just that, as part of the Republicans' plan for economic growth and jobs. Our jobs plan focuses on patient-centered reforms, not Washington-centered bureaucracy. By concentrating on disease prevention research, we'll improve care and bring down the costs that strain families and small businesses. Of course, there are powerful interests who will do all they can to prop up Obamacare. We learned last week that the Secretary of Health and Human Services has been pushing private companies, businesses she herself regulates, to help pay for the implementation of Obamacare. This raises all kinds of legal and ethical questions, and I assure you, we will get those answers. Because right now, we need more accountability in Washington, and a government that works for you, not the other way around. And that senator is right. This law is a train wreck. Just look at all this red tape. This week marked the third time in three years that the People's House has listened to the people and voted for full repeal of the health care law. Now it's time for the Senate to listen to the people as well. Together, we can fix our health care challenges to build a new generation of prosperity and opportunity for ourselves and for our children. Thank you for listening.